Hey guys, I'm back again with another set of UM interview questions. Today, I'd like to cover what is a config database? Oh, or rather, what's a configuration database? So I've divided the config DB related questions into two parts. The first video is this one. This is more catered towards um, someone who's a recent college graduate. And um, they should be like, you know, once they go over this video, they'd be able to answer uh, basic questions about config DB and conceptually what it is. Uh, the next uh, video in this uh, series for config DB, um, you can sort of like, or rather that's uh, catered towards someone who's a little bit more experienced um, and would know like what the usage is and how to sort of like, um, you know, basically what kind of arguments go into the parameters of the main functions and a little bit more detail on the main uh, functions of a config DB, which are the set and the get functions and their usage. So let's uh, dive right back, uh, into uh, this particular question, which is what is a uh, config DB? So what is a config DB? It is an internal uh, database of uh, config objects, essentially. Um, it's kind of like, um, and here I'm highlighting, um, it's sort of like a virtual database, uh, which has um, sort of like the key is a string. In our case, or in, in, in the config DB case, the key is more like a hierarchical path to, let's say, a variable or an object, uh, and then basically value uh, on the other end corresponds to the handle of an actual object or handle of a, or, or, or an actual value essentially depending upon uh, what you are trying to set uh, for this particular um, uh, field essentially, or, which is the key. So I, I think th that's the most important thing. If you can answer that, then like, you know, if you can uh, sort of like visualize uh, uh, a, like a virtual database which has these hierarchical paths and then handles. Um, that's all you really need to sort of like understand in terms of what the config DB is. Then, of course, uh, if you go into a little bit more detail of uh, where it extends from, it's derived from a class called the UVM resource uh, database of type T, essentially, which is the UVM object type. Um, then basically, of course, what are the, uh, or how is it used essentially? So config DB is used to store and retrieve um, configuration objects and values. And um, then of course, what are the main functions? Um, of course you have the set and the get. So the set function is used for storing and the get function is used for retrieving. Um, set does it set is basically of type void. It doesn't return anything because it's just updates or stores um, a particular uh, value for a hierarchical field name, essentially. Um, get, on the other hand, um, basically is used to retrieve and it returns a bit. If it's successful, it returns a one. If it's unsuccessful, it returns a zero. Um, and that's about it. Uh, in terms of the parameters for both of these functions, uh, we'll go into the more details in the next video. But in this one, they're pretty much the same. All you have is uh, context, the field name, uh, and uh, basically the value, um, and of course the instance name. Yeah. So they're pretty much the same, just different usage for uh, set and the get. The other thing to notice is these two functions are static. So that's why to refer to them, you need these double colons essentially. Uh, so remember that, yeah. Uh, then some of the other uh, methods are, so there's another task, which is the uh, weight modified, uh, which sort of like is nothing more than, it's just sort of like make sure um, that uh, a particular field um, or a particular value, new value has been, so like set. So it's a blocking call. So it's waiting on a particular value to be set, for instance. So that's what the weight modified is. 
um, uh, whereas the exist is sort of like returns a bit value. Uh, it just checks whether a particular field name exists uh, in the config DB. It exists is kind of like similar to um, like a lot of um, in a lot of languages you have um, like maybe uh, dictionaries um, and, and things like that. Like once in Python you have a dictionary where you're sort of like checking if a particular key exists. So exist is checking whether a field name or a key uh, essentially exists inside the internal database. Then uh, what are some of the limitations? Of, I mean, as, as, as it's kind of obvious, like uh, you want to set an object or a value before you can get it. So that's number one. And the other one is the, con the context or the uh, CONTXT, which is the actual um, uh, parameter name for both the set and the get functions uh, is basically going to be of type UVM component. Um, so uh, config, so essentially uh, just to summarize, config DB is used mainly to pass configuration uh, objects and values between UVM com components all over the test bench. And then to visualize it's an internal database with a hierarchical key uh, or a hierarchical field name, which is the key, and the corresponding value or the handle of an object. Uh, as long as you understand that, uh, that should be enough to answer any interviewer's question for someone who's a recent college graduate. Um, and then um, let's go a little bit more in terms of what are some of the usage. Um, so we can use the config DB to synchronize the test bench events. So basically what that can do is uh, there could be multiple uh, components. Uh, so like waiting on, uh, on the same event to occur. Or be, um, so basically you could have it been done in the test bench and you need to synchronize maybe multiple monitors or multiple uh, different UVM components. You can uh, sort of like uh, wait for that particular one and um, the test bench can put in the config DB and all the other UVM components can retrieve it and then synchronize accordingly. So that's what, it's can, what it can be used for. Uh, then of course, passing the virtual interface or, uh, uh, and also passing configs. So when we say for, uh, passing virtual interfaces, it's kind of like from the test bench to the driver or other UVM component. That's like the, that's like the most basic case, right? Um, how the connection, the actual connection happens between the dot and the um, and the driver, for instance, or other UVM components. So you pass the virtual interface and configuration database is sort of like uh, you set a configuration data, database, for instance, uh, and then maybe uh, pass it all uh pa pass it to all the other agents right so a config db is a very easy way to set it in one place um and put it in the you know basically uh, set the configurations put it in the config db and then have it available all throughout the test bench to all the uvm components so th th uh, that that's one of the other uh, i mean um uh, usage so these three are sort of like so, uh, someone who is fairly new to uvm should know um, another one is to pass resources. So th this is sort of like maybe someone who is a little bit, who has a little bit more um, experience. Um, they can come up with different strategies to construct uh, a more black box level test bench, right? So, uh, for, so to share resources, you can sort of like even put, like for instance, this, like a sequencer um, uh, inside the config DB, right? And um, and basically um, have 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 it uh, provided to the uh, test writers essentially. So for that, um, this can lead to like a black box test bench where the test writer uh, can retrieve the appropriate sequencer from the config DB um, in the top level sequence or the uh, test, um, and they don't really need to know exactly what the details. Um, of the test bench are so they they're just the test writers for instance. Um, so so those are some of the uh, use cases for config DB. And uh, just to summarize, 
the main thing to remember is um, config DB, nothing more than internal database with a hierarchical um, field name called the key. So by hierarchical key name, we mean all the way to the instance and uh, what that field name is at that instance level and uh, what the value is going to be. Either you're going to be setting it or you're going to be uh, assigning it uh, within that uh, component context, for instance. So I think one, uh, if you understand this much, then uh, any anyone who has one or two years of experience, uh, if they're able to answer this much about config DB, that should be sufficient. Uh, all right, that's about it for this question. And uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you. Take care.